Hi, my name is Michelle, and I thought I'd share a little bit about my background in yoga, my yoga journey, just so I have an idea of what influences my offerings of guiding meditation, mindfulness, hikes in nature, yoga, and things like that. So I founded Root to Rise Yoga in 2010. I began yoga or took my first class in 2001. Now my first class, the first few minutes, we were lying down practicing breath work and I fell asleep. I left it thinking that yoga is boring. Later on, a colleague in our modern dance company who was training to become a yoga teacher kept nudging me to try yoga again. So finally I did. Now in this next class, I ended up swimming in a pool of my own sweat and the yoga teacher comes up to me and says, honey, next time you gotta bring a towel. I was intrigued. The rigor sparked my curiosity of what my body could do. Now, years later, I had a dance injury that left me unable to dance or run for about a year of recovery. I turned to yoga as a way to do things gently and having been forced to very reluctantly slow down, yoga became not only a source of physical healing, but a source of mental and emotional healing. Years later, I followed a very scary intuitive nudge to leave a very secure job as a school teacher in California and volunteer abroad as a teacher. I started in Ghana, West Africa, and then spent over a year in Costa Rica, where I realized that I was holding on to so much of the past and old ways of doing, and had a difficult time letting go out of my comfort zone. So once again, yoga became an important part of my practice. In fact, it became a daily necessity, practicing it every day for several months I gradually learned to ungrip life and practice what's called a parigraha or non-attachment. This allowed me to see how much I have been blessed in this lifetime and especially connect with nature where I feel a deep sense of love and gratitude. So when I came back to the United States, I studied to become a yoga teacher, earned my first certification, 2010, founded Root to Rise Yoga. Many years later, and on the onset of the pandemic, I was drawn to do a lot more inner work, specifically shadow work, where I address what's in the unconscious mind that is holding me back in life from fully expressing myself and being vulnerable in a way that allows me to connect authentically. It's those aspects of ourselves that we push away and actually drive much of our day-to-day -day decision making. And so I found another yoga certification program focused on yoga psychology, where I delved deep into facilitating practices of meditation, studied yoga philosophy, uh, the energy system called the chakras, and the subtler practices of yoga, which I love to facilitate now. So that's a sense of where my yoga journey has ebbed and flowed. And if you'd like to learn more about my offerings of retreats, classes, private sessions, workplace wellness, Reiki sessions, and even receive free resources, you can subscribe to my monthly newsletter at roottoriseyoga.org can find the spelling in the description below. Thanks for listening.